Happy Sabbath, mummies and daddies. Happy Sabbath, children. My name is Teacher Mildred, and together with me, kindergarten class, please come up front. We are going to take you through our children's story. Teacher, how old are teacher, kindergarten class? I know somebody may be asking that. We are between the age of three to five years old. Three to five years old. Kindergarten class, please, let's come up front together with our parents. Daddies and mummies, uncles and aunties who are many years old. Jesus loves me, this I know. For the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong. They are weak, but he is strong. Yeah. happy to be here today, children. I'm also excited to be here. Allow me to invite teacher Millicent, who will take us through our children's story. Can we all be quiet? Thank you. Happy Sabbath, church. Happy, happy Sabbath, mommies and daddies. Happy and happy Sabbath, children. Happy I'm surprised that only a quarter of us have turned up. But nonetheless, we shall continue. Hello, children. Hello, children. How are you? How are you? Welcome to today's uh, Children's Corner. Our story's title is. Jesus calmed the storm. Repeat after me. Jesus calmed the storm. And it comes from the book of Mark, chapter 4, from verse 35 onwards. So during the whole of that day, Jesus was preaching and teaching at the shores of the Sea of Galilee. And then when evening came, he told his disciples, let us cross over to the other side. What did he say? Let us cross over to the other side. Mommies and daddies, I want you to remember that statement very keenly. So they set off. They climbed on the boat and then they started going. As they were going... Which song were they singing, Teacher Caro? With Jesus in the vessel, we can smile at the storm. Smile at the storm. Smile at the storm. With Jesus in the vessel, we can smile at the storm. As we go sailing slow. And as they were sailing, Jesus was really tired after a long, hard day. And where was Jesus? He took a cushion and he was sleeping soundly. And the night began to get dark. There was the moon shining brightly. The stars were shining, and they were rowing on and on and on they went. Then suddenly, the wind became heavy. Do you all know what a storm is? The weather changed. The wind started blowing, and the boat was rocking left, right, left, 
right and there was thunder and there was lightning and the disciples were scared and all this time what was Jesus doing he was sleeping some of Jesus disciples Peter James Andrew and John were fishermen so previously they had rowed during a storm and they felt a bit confident that we can do this. So they continued rowing and rowing. But oh no, the storm was getting heavier. And water began to fill the boat. And the disciples were scared. Their beards were wet. Their clothes were wet. They were drenched and feeling cold. And most of all, they were scared that they were going to perish. And they did what? They went and woke Jesus up. They woke Jesus up. Master, master, carest not thou that we perish. And they were scared. Can you all show me your scared faces? Jesus stood up. And he raised his hand. And he calmed the storm. Peace be still. Peace be still. Amen. Amen. And all of a sudden, there was a sudden quietness. The waters became calm. The clouds that had covered the moon and the stars began to clear. And the disciples were all shook. And they wondered, what kind of man is this? That even the waves, the weather, the wind obey him. And Jesus asked them, why are you so afraid? Don't you have faith? But we do, don't we? We do have faith in Jesus, don't we? We trust him when we are facing life storms. And I will encourage us to take Jesus in the ride of life. As we ride the storms of life, let's take Jesus with us so that he can say, Peace be still. Now, mommies and daddies, do you remember the statement I told you to hold on to when we started the story? What did I say? Now, does somebody? Great. Jesus had told them, let us cross over to the other side. For a minute, the disciples forgot that promise. Wasn't that a promise? That we are going to the other side. But he did tell them that along the way there won't be storms. He didn't say. What he said is that we are going to the other side. So let us take Jesus with us on our journey to the other side. Teacher Caro, lead us in the chorus. Okay. The winds and the waves shall obey the will. We can sing that, right? Yes. Mummies and daddies, right? Yes. Kindly let's stand up. Asanteni. Okay, let's see. The winds and the waves shall obey thy will. Peace be still, peace be still. Whether the wrath or the storm tossed it, or demons or men or whatever it be, no water can swallow the sheep well as the master of ocean and earth and skies. They all shall swiftly obey thy will. Peace be still. Peace be still they all shall swiftly obey thy will peace peace be still amen, amen. we shall have our final prayer Dear Jesus, we thank you for our story. We pray that you may help us to take you on our ride through the storms of life so that you may help to calm all the storms that we face. In Jesus' name we pray.